basketball <laughs> after what he did in front of LeBron. Can you imagine? LeBron, Chris Paul, packed house against Bronny James. Mangus got behind the defense, his first bucket. Kyle Mangus over 3,000 points playing at the NAIA level cell phone since January. He left it in a cab in Uruguay when he was playing over there and just never got one again. Said it's been the most green thing. Hubble leaves the game. He's replaced by Evan Maxwell. Also into the game for the men of Mackey, Kyle Mengus. Money team stays as is. Barlow a rebound. Ooh. Mangus off the window intentionally. Yeah, he did that intentionally. He didn't necessarily drive intentionally. He kept waiting for someone to step in front of him. No one did. Davis finds Creek for a layup. Second time, side ball screen. First time. Side ball screen's where it's at for the money team. Corey Davis, a pretty tough player. Yeah, he is playing both ends. Mangus. Kyle Mangus has the last five for Matt Mackey. Couple time player of the year, NAIA Division I at Indiana Wesleyan, national champion. Plays for a great coach, Greg Tonnegan. Hey. Crawford, he did over the seven footer Maxwell. If you tell me where Indiana Wesleyan is, I will buy your dinner. Uh, it is in the great state of Indiana. Uh, Amber Wings of Green. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. Oh! <laughs> Gary, it's in Gary. No, it's not there. It's Marion area. I don't know. The Point game as Nash gets a layup. I know where Illinois Wesleyan is. Bonus points for that to Bloomington. Oh, best player. Best player ever out of Illinois. Well, it'd be Doug Raider on the baseball side. Nope. But it would be Jack Sikabah. Yes, sir. Barlow in attack mode is fouled by Creek. You know, here. Doug Raider was a great player. All-star manager. Baseball yeah. Player. Yeah, but Jack Sigma had a move named after him. Yeah. Inside pivot over the head. Hall of Famer. Had a chance to meet him. He is massive. Justin Barlow trying to dunk on the entire. Jack Sigma's coach, Jack Hornberger. Oh, my God. How did I know that? Came out of nowhere. <laughs> Eight-point game. I can attest he is not on Google. <laughs> Men of Mackey starting to figure out the offense. Oh, it's Ooh. a massive shot for Borlaug. Kelsey Barlow, five-point game. Oh, it's getting interesting now, folks. Crawford slipped too quick for himself. Numbers for men of Mackey. Delaney. Running next to him. That's exactly right. And a collision here on the side of the back. Skid, it's a... Uh... I'm with... Hey, I'm with the ref. What, what, what do you want? Jimmer, you want the ref to add an assault charge? What? He called a foul and he's yelling at the ref and the ref went, what are you talking about? I called the foul. Uh, hey. Here we go. I just realized how much Jimmer Fritt looks like, uh, what is it, Jeff Goodman? John Goodman. Remember John Goodman? Back on the Roseanne Bar Show back in the day? John Goodman looks like he ate. He looks, like he looks like a young John Goodman. Jeremy Evans gets the bucket. Give the assist to Fredette. Help me, help me, help me, help me. For those of you that don't know, Roseanne's TV husband That's back in the day. Yes, yeah. John Goodman. Yeah. Big deal back in the late 80s, early 90s. Fredette is fouled a couple of times, and Jimmer will go to the line. I got to tell you, when you said you know who he looks like, I was not going John Goodman. <laughs> but now that you said it, I'm kind of looking at him. I don't know. Maybe he's John Goodman. Well, check it out when he's in the free throw line. <laughs> Ashley Shelby is listening in to the Men of Mackey Talk. Ashley, what do you have? Guys, this timeout was a lot different than the last. They were able to make a couple shots, slow things down, so everything was a lot calmer, a lot calmer of a huddle. But Mena Mackey's head coach really focused on the defense. He said, I know it's hard. They are speed demons out there, but you have to guard these guys like you have no help. Square up to them, and hopefully that'll uh, end some of their runs that they're able to go on.
Yeah, he's right. When you're playing a quicker guy, give him a step and then square your shoulders because if you get too much on a side or give up too much of an angle, you're done. You end up behind him, which obviously is not good. Yeah, Meta Mackey done a better job scoring the ball as of late, but they still not getting stops. I really like the pace that the money team has played with the second half. They've gotten up and down the floor much quicker. Mangus. He can score. Again, intentionally off the window. The other day he could fly. Now he can score. Mangus is the guy right now going for Purdue. I guarantee you they're going to run something else for him. That's what they do. Mangus picks up the loose ball. Ahead of the pack to Delaney. So after the timeout, four unanswered for Men and Mackey. Five-point game. Odd lineup right now, but an effective lineup because of Mangus. Creek. Left-handed player missed the right-handed lane. Jeremy Evans taps it through. That's what I told you. Don't watch the ball. You know where the ball is. Watch off the ball. There are all kinds whoa, of offensive rebounds. Kyle Mangus is saying to himself, that never once happened to me playing at Indiana Wesley. Not once. You, you don't think? No. No? Not a not six, one time. NBA flyer coming in. Taylor University, Upland, Indiana. They had some guys that could get up. Nope. None of them won an NBA slam dunk contest like Jeremy Evans. True. Maxwell swallows it through. Second three-pointer for the big. Where'd he go? Well, he went to Liberty to begin with. Then he went to Kansas, finished up at Indiana Wesley. And in Marion, Indiana. Fair. Yes, sir. Fredette. Third three-pointer for Jimmer. You know, it's funny when Fredette, and this is odd, when Fredette comes off the screen and catches it, when he holds it just for a little bit longer, he knocks it in. When he gets rid of it, it pops out of his hands sometimes. Timeout called by Delaney. He was in trouble, and he saves the possession by calling a timeout. I'm telling you, when he comes off something and he catches it, there's just a little fraction of hold on to the shot right there. When he shoots some open ones and he's missed them bad, the ball kind of just pops out of his hand. Most guys, when they hang on to it too long, Eric, they shoot it short because it ends up shooting on the way down, but not for that. It's almost like he has to hold it for just a split second to reach the apex of his jump. It's kind of fascinating. Yeah, it's cool. I'd love that too. Well, our next WNBA game is going to be Saturday over on ESPN. Brianna Stewart, the Seattle Storm, going to take on Elena Deladon and the Washington Mystics in the nation's capital. Game time noon Eastern on ESPN and also on the ESPN app. Elena Deladon, the best ever come out of Delaware. Not even going on a limb on that one. Oh, no. Who's the best woman player ever? Oh, you mean like Cheryl Miller? Yeah, that's how, you know, people uh, forget about Ann. Yeah, 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 people, Lieberman. yeah, people forget about. Yeah, who, well, now you get Tarasi, you right. get Bird. People forget about Reg, Cheryl Miller. Yeah. Uh, you know. That's a great call. Right? Look at this. I'm loving this kid. Kyle Mangus is single-handedly keeping the men of Mackey within shouting distance. And everyone in Marion, Indiana is saying, I told you. Two minutes remaining here in our third quarter. Evans, the up and under. Million dollar move, nickel finish. Left handed up ahead pass to the lane. And now men back, you'll regroup. Wow! What's happening? Evan Maxwell! How do you do? It's been all Indiana Wesleyan players as of late for the men of Mackey. Yeah, that is Evans and Mangus got tangled up. You know why? And you're right. Mangus created that by how hard he was going over the screen. He wasn't touching the screen, Eric. He was flying over. Look at Maxwell right here, as you said, little dipsy do. And then, watch this. He was hustling, getting over the top, stepping over, and guess what? He got the charge, or he got the ball. And now, Mangus has the full attention of the money team. Xavier Munford fouls him. Man of Mackey not in the bonus, so it's side out of bounds. 82 ticks remaining in our third quarter. Only woman ever to be in an NBA camp. Oh, uh, well, back in the day, the Pacers. Uh, Myers. And Myers. And Myers. Who was, his, who was your brother? Dave Myers, UCLA, Milwaukee Buck. Barlow. Nope. Rebound 
Delaney. Oh, he missed. Oh, my goodness, does he want that back? That would have made it a 65 65 tie. And now a silly foul in the backcourt. Super silly foul, considering that the money team is in the bonus, and Jimmer Fredette has missed a free throw since his sophomore year in high school. You know, that, this is why coaches drink. I'm telling you, they, they can't score the money team, right? They're a bit of a mess, offensive fouls, and next thing you know, you put the best free throw shooter or one of the best in the world at the line from about 50 feet away. Jimmer Fredette's winning prize will be sent with Zell. Should the money team win it all, six consecutive wins, Jimmer's going to get $47,619. Fans can win two at the tournament.com slash Zell. Two freebies, found money for Jimmer for debt. That is unspeakably dumb foul. Kyle Mangus has been the truth here in the third quarter. Mangus along the baseline, nobody home. Booker a steal. And you can bet your dot and dollar that Jimmer Fredette's going to go two for one. He's going to get a quick shot up here. Oh, man. Some things you can't say, other things you just know. He's going to get another one, too. Mangus. Keep your eye on Fredette under the basket. Let's see where he goes. Davis. Creek. Lets him meet on the bone. Still four seconds remaining in the quarter. Bartolo has to fire. Fourth quarter here in Dayton, Ohio. The men of Mackey, they'd be done. They'd be cooked without the play of Kyle Mangus, particularly in that third quarter. Yeah, he was terrific, man. The streets of Marion are partying like it was Purple Rain back with Jay Edwards, Lyndon Jones, and Derek Key. Mangus has been on fire. You said the other game he could fly. He can. He can also shoot. He can drive it. And oh, by the way, Mr. Old School Basketball, he ain't afraid to use the glass either. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Big believer in the backboard. It's there for a reason. <laughs> and that square's there, too, to let you know where to shoot it at. So we've got a fourth quarter. We'll play until we get beneath the four minutes.